Hi, I'm Patricia Tagley, Executive Coach and Life Coach, and this is Trish Time. And today as our guest, we have Andre Early, who's Commissioner of Community Resources located at the Theodore D. Young Community Center. So Andre, welcome. It's so nice to see you again. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you for having me here. Of course. So we did meet before, and we did talk about this resource center. Um, let, uh, why don't you tell our guests about the mission for the Theodore D. Young Community Center? Well, uh, Trish, the mission of the center is basically to um, have a, a resource for young people, as mm -hmm. well as just in general, the town itself, um, resources to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, when the community center first uh, started, this, we're going back into the late 60s, mm -hmm. uh, actually 1967. And, um, you know, there was civil unrest, you know, it was height of the civil rights movement and things of that nature. And um, along came this idea to have a, an outlet to get the kids off the streets. Mm -hmm. So what programs do you have um, currently that um, the youth can avail of, as well as the, the different age, the different citizens here in Greenberg? Well, uh, the community center is... is uh, is unique mm -hmm. um, and that's what makes uh, Greenberg so special um, we look at uh, the services that we provide is is really intergenerational mm -hmm. we have a thriving senior uh, program uh, mm -hmm. which incorporates a nutrition program uh, we have an after-school program uh, exposure uh, incorporated the exposure foundation mm -hmm. has has a uh, after-school program then we have uh, all of our programs are centered around uh, a, a four-pronged method educational uh -huh. social cultural and recreational so all of our programs are centered around those four items mm -hmm. and is there a committee that decides on on the programs that are developed for the center I wouldn't say a committee per se uh, we have uh, diligent staff members mm -hmm. that come up with great ideas uh, to service you know the immediate area of the Fairview section as well as the uh, town mm -hmm. overall mm -hmm. and is there a certain program that you're most passionate about when it comes to the activities there at the center with regard to the youth? Uh, I wouldn't say a specific program. Mm -hmm. M my passion is youth development, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with individuals that are middle school, high school, uh, because they're in those uh, formative years of uh, change. Uh, so, you know, I like to prepare them for post high school uh, activities. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that um, you mentioned that you do have. Uh, a program where you visit different colleges with the youth? Right. Um, we partner with a fraternal, a local fraternal mm -hmm. organization, um, uh, Cap Alpha Psi, and we um, actually work with them to, I just happen to be a member. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug, I know. <laughs> uh, but uh, we, we actually work together to uh, sponsor a, a college tour. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have College tours throughout the course of the school year mm -hmm. when in which they are local as well as regional. So whether it's the local schools, local colleges in the Westchester County area, or we'll take a, a quick trip into um, the city or New Jersey, you mm -hmm. know, close by. But then during the spring break recess, uh, there's also a, a week-long uh, historically black college and mm -hmm. university tour, mm -hmm. uh, which we partner with the fraternity. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this, for your, about your background, like how did you come to the Theodore D. Young Community Center? Like how did this all happen? How did it all come together for you that you ended up here? Okay, so how much time do we have? <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, so the community center is very special to me. Is because yes. I grew up there. Oh, okay. You know, I, I started out as a camper there, uh, so went to summer day camp, and then when it was time to... Uh, look for a job. My first uh, work experience uh, that required a social security number actually was the community center. Fantastic. Um, and then, uh, then of course, I graduated from high school, went down south uh, to, to school, and you know started my my career per se. And then I, I found myself uh, back at the community center uh, uh, some some years later. Mm -hmm. I have actually been there since uh, 2013. Wow. Um, okay. The, the late Commissioner William L. Carter mm -hmm. uh, was the one that actually tapped me uh, to come back to serve as his uh, Deputy Commissioner. And uh, it, it's wonderful being back home 
Um, it's great. I won't say it's like a prodigal son type of experience, but it's very similar mm -hmm. because, you know, you go out, you get the work experience, you get the exposure, mm -hmm. but then you're able to bring the, all that back home mm -hmm. and make a difference mm -hmm. uh, in a place where you, you, you call home. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful. That's fantastic. So it's welcome home, Thank and you. we're glad to have you back. And it's glad to be back. De definitely. <laughs> So, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the youth programs. Uh, in reference to the youth programs, like what programs are there now? Because it's spring coming up, so obviously there's been a change in, in what's being offered, I believe. So what, what exactly are you offering right now to the youth at the center? <laughs> um, let's see here. Ooh, yes, our spring summer programming has just started just mm -hmm. a few short weeks ago. And when I think about, let's see, on the recreation side, we have uh, basketball, we have so uh, we have a soccer clinic coming up. Oh, there you go. We have soccer, soccer. coming up. Uh, let's see here. We have t-ball. On the arts and dance and culture side, we have, we just started our guitar class. Uh, we have cartooning. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're also looking at uh, hopefully imp implementing uh, another program uh, in regard to the future. It's falls into the STEM category, so we're trying to bring coding uh, for, for, for the youth as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because what we want to do is start preparing our youth for uh, the future and mm -hmm. actually to be a little bit more competitive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's different now mm -hmm. than when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not just about local and, and regional competition. Mm -hmm. We're talking about global mm -hmm. competition mm -hmm. now, and uh, we have to make sure that our youth are mm -hmm. ready to uh, compete mm -hmm. outside of this immediate area. Mm -hmm. And the STEM program is has to do with technology. Right. Well, yep. we, you know, we're dealing, where are the, the, the future jobs going to mm -hmm. be? Mm -hmm. Science, technology. Yep, absolutely. You know, and uh, that's math, global. You, that's, yeah. all, that's all global. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you don't have to be in that location to do the job anymore. It's, that is it's correct. a whole global organization. That's fantastic. Yes. Um, how about, okay, so I know that it's not just about the youth. The community center also has programs for people who are not the youth anymore than the former generation. Well, um, I could highlight the senior program. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we look at um, the trend of, of health mm -hmm. and, and medicine, people are living longer. Um, and so we have a growing, you know, seasoned population mm -hmm. here in the town of Greenberg. So, you know, we try to offer some type of activities for them, you know, throughout the course of the, of, of the day. Um, it offers fellowship, it offers mm -hmm. companionship mm -hmm. um, and, and, and activities. I must say, you know, sometimes when I walk through the halls and see what they're doing and where they're going, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sometimes I really believe I can't wait to be a senior because they're having a whole lot of fun right now. Yeah. Y you know, and I mean, uh, we have, you know, for those that wish to play bingo, mm -hmm. we have bingo. Like I said, they, we have a nutrition program. But then, you know, we have seniors that venture into the city and, and check out Broadway plays. Oh, you know, fantastic. so we have a theater group. Uh, they're very active. And then they actually take field trip activities overnight. We have a, a special trip going down to uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I can't wait until, you know, that <laughs> moment where I'm like, you know what, I think I'm just going to go uh, take a trip somewhere. That's fantastic. Yeah. So there are all these programs, like you said, not just for the youth, but also for seniors. And I understand that there's a gym, a wonderful gym at the community center that's open from what time to what time for the public? Okay, so the gym is like the highlight or like really the focal point uh -huh. of the community center, mm -hmm. um, it, you know, back in the day, it was affectionately known that um, in order for you to be a success on the basketball court, uh -huh. you had to come through, you know, at that time, the Fairview Greenberg Community oh, very Center. Nice. Very so, nice. so we're making sure that that we, you know, live up to our reputation, mm -hmm. and um, and but also, it's a multi-purpose room. Mm -hmm. um, once again, it, it was founded as a community center, so it's open to the community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while it's the gym, while it's highlights are the basketball court, uh, you know, we have either Saturday afternoon roller skating for 
for for the little kids. Uh, we have uh, plays, mm -hmm. different productions, things of that nature that take place in the gym, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, like I said, the highlight. Mm -hmm. well, I won't say the highlight, but you, you know, it's 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 a main focal point of mm -hmm. of the center. I really think the the gym of the facility yep. is the pool. Oh, so the pool. <laughs> so let's talk about the pool. So tell yes. us about the pool and the programs yes. around the pool. Well, um, we are uh, blessed to have a, an indoor pool facility mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, erected uh, in the early 80s, okay. early 1980s, mm -hmm. uh, Olympic sized pool. Okay. And, um, it, and the pool opens up at 530 in the morning. Wow. So the center is, you know, our day begins at 530. Mm -hmm. And trust me when I say that there are, are residents as as well as non residents, uh, standing outside making sure that they get their early morning swim, um, you know, before they go to work, wow. you know, for their recreational activities. So it's, um, Bless them. it's, it's <laughs> yes. I don't get up that early for that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but that's so. Do you have um, lessons that are offered, or is it just an open pool? No, um, it's it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. uh, we have you know those that take advantage of uh, the free time for lap swim mm -hmm. uh, for their exercises, but then we do have classes uh, either in the morning or throughout the day, as well as in, in the afternoon. Uh, we actually have our own uh, swim team; it's mm -hmm. the fast swim team. Oh wow! So, um, so those that are interested in having their their uh, their youth participate or learn how to swim. You know, we have all that available right there at the Theodore D. Young Community Center. Well, yeah, I mean, um, swimming, that's a life, you know, a life-saving skill that I believe everybody should actually uh, be able to do. So swimming is very important. So if you are one of those that are interested in learning this life-saving skill, then make sure you get yourself to the Theodore D. Young Community Center. So besides all of this, um, are there any other like maybe special programs like maybe music programs or any anything like that that you're offering to the youth at this time? Well, at this time, like I mentioned earlier, we just started a um, a, a guitar class. Oh, okay. Um, so and and it actually uh, garnered a lot of attention. So the class is already full right now, oh, which that's is great. which is great. Yeah. Uh, so um, for for youth to be able to um, expand their horizon mm -hmm. and and try something new um, that that's really what the center is all about um, you know we're not just a recreational facility mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know we, we we're cultural we're, we're, we're social mm -hmm. um, we, we want to make sure that we offer enough activities for uh, once again the Fairview section but uh, for the entire town mm -hmm. um, and, and it's you know so it's it's I would have to say it's an experience it walking is. It into like that, it. walking through those doors, it's an experience, mm -hmm. and and we just like being. Um, we take our involvement in the town very seriously mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, we we impact lives. Yes, that's that's for sure. I mean, not only with the offerings that you have for the c different classes, but bringing the community together. Yes. Okay, in the same space where they can interact and communicate. I mean, so much of the world today is about technology and everybody looking into their cell phone, their tablet, or what have you. And here you have this wonderful space where people can actually talk to each other, interact with each other, and teach each other yes. even. Um, which is great for the community. Mm -hmm. Again, it's to bring the community together which is what we want, which is what this program is about. <laughs> and um, we have it all right there. Um, I know that you have event space or like space that you do rent out, right? We do. Uh, we do have the opportunity for, for residents as well as non-residents mm -hmm. um, to utilize our space for uh, weddings, mm -hmm. receptions, mm -hmm. birthday parties, mm -hmm. uh, fundraisers, things of that nature. Um, so, uh, you know, we have a process that's in place. Everything is mm -hmm. available, uh, you know, online. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, we, we, we host it all. And, as, and once again, since it's a community center, mm -hmm. you know, we are available to, to everybody. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when we're dealing with uh, the loss of a family member mm -hmm. and you need a place to uh, have, uh, 
you know, family and friends mm -hmm. come and gather after, you know, the services, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we're open. Mm -hmm. We're open. Okay. We, we're, we're very family-centered, family-oriented. Okay. And how about for small businesses? Would they be able to, to rent space for, let's say, to do a workshop? Is that possible? That's always possible, mm -hmm. always possible. Uh, we we, we want to make sure that we offer uh, opportunities for, for everyone. So if a local business or a, a local agency mm -hmm. or, or wants, wants to come in and provide uh, some type of, of life skills or, or mm -hmm. some type of workshop, mm -hmm. seminar that could benefit anyone in the town, mm -hmm. we, we definitely welcome it. Well, you might see me there do giving my workshop one of these days. I'll be looking forward to that. Look forward to it. So uh, what other, what, what else about the center and the people there would you like to speak about? Is there any event coming up? Uh, let's see here. Well, um, I, I believe I mentioned earlier, you know, the, 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 the late William Carter, the Commissioner yes. Carter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bill, Big Bill served uh, in that department. Uh, from 2008 to his uh, recent passing. Okay. Um, so along with um, a couple of sponsors and, and uh, other departments, uh, we, we will be working with his widow, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lavette Carter, and, and the foundation that she just established in memory of her husband. Uh, we will be uh, working with her to have a kickoff of, of the William L. Carter uh, Inspiration Program, mm -hmm. which will be tied into um, a few things, a, a few items uh, within our department. Um, that kickoff will be the 21st, April 21st. Okay, April so, 21st. So we look forward to that. Uh, uh, we're, we're assisting in, in the preparation. The actual kickoff uh, will not take place at the center, mm -hmm. but, but the center is definitely involved uh, with it. It's actually going to take place at the uh, Doubletree Hotel in Tarrytown. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that we impact lives and, and have an opportunity to, to uh, assist all. Um, May 20th, we will be, uh, there's a park right behind the community center. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say it like this because I'm from here. It's okay. called Yosemite Park, although it could be referred to as Yosemite. Yosemite. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Yosemite Park is, is directly behind uh, the community mm -hmm. center. And we will be, uh, as we did last year, we'll be uh, hosting the, the uh, American Cancer Society Relay for Life. Okay, and, that's and May 20th. That's uh, Friday, Friday, May 20th. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a overnight type of uh, experience, but but we look forward to it because um, we, uh, as well as you know other residents uh, within the town, I'm pretty sure has had someone affected by cancer. Okay. So we want to you know make sure that that uh, we make people aware that we are available, and uh, we raise funds for a worthy cause. And I also would like to include, um, Trish, you know, we also have a great summer camp. Mm -hmm. You know, I grant it, it's only for six weeks, but um, it's a great opportunity for, for kids throughout the town to come together uh, to fellowship. You know, you know, did you know that there were 10 school districts in the town of Greenberg? No. Okay, so <laughs> so there's 10, 10 school districts. So, you know, if you have the opportunity to have uh, uh, young people to come together outside of their school districts, gives them a learning experience as well. So, uh, you know, we try to stress that during the summer camp season. It's fantastic. So the Theodore D. Young Community Center, for those of you that have not been aware of it, it's located right here in, the, in our backyard and it's worth a visit. There are events basically from the youth to the seniors and they have special um, classes from not only just uh, athletic classes but also cultural in the sense of like as you said the music lessons and um, it's right here it's, it's accessible it's available so we might as well venture out and see how we can not only contribute, but how we can participate ourselves and enjoy what we have right here. So in closing, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about the center or you'd like to tell the viewers? Well, let's just say the Theodore D. Young Community Center is a one-of-a-kind facility. 
I've had the opportunity to travel uh, statewide, countrywide, as well as abroad. And I remember, let's say back in 1988, when I left to go to school, uh, when I left to go to college, and I was bored on the campus, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go check out the community center in the local area. They didn't have one. So uh, that was one of the things I was missing uh, when I left the area. So uh, let's not take, you know, the Theodore D. Young Community Center for granted. It's a gem. It's the best kept secret in the state of New York. And it's right here in the town of Greenberg. I say let's go ahead and take advantage of it. I say that too. And for the coaching corner to close the show, if you're looking to be more involved in Greenberg, how would the Theodore D. Young Community Center fit into that? And with that, this is Trish Tagley, executive coach and life coach, wishing you a great day here on and see you again here on Trish Time. Bye-bye. <laughs>